this corner. So ladies and gentlemen, fight number five this evening is an amateur super lightweight bout contested over three three minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 75 kilos even and trains out of Game Braid Academy, holding an amateur MMA record of three wins and two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Victor Lyle. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 74.9 kilos and trains out of KMA top team, holding an amateur MMA record of two wins and one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Emmanuel, the defender, Camilleri. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Peter Hickmont. Fight five, round number one, XFC. The Bull, third man in the cage. Lyle coming out. Lyle takes center cage. Oh, big oh, he lands. lands a big shot. Oh, he swarms in. He comes oh. in strong. Can Lyle survive? Oh, another big right hand lands. Looks like Lyle's got his composure back, but another right hand lands. Swarming attack here from Emmanuel Camilleri, and oh! And a big shot by Lyle sets Camilleri backwards. Nice work digging the underhook on that entry there from Victor Lyle, keeps them on the feet. But Emmanuel Camilleri shot out of a cannon to kick off round one. Yeah, good cage pressure now here by Camilleri. Nice underhook there by Lyle, yeah, look. stopping that takedown. Lyle, he's got a good hold there. Some nice lead, knees were landed. Oh, another oh, big right hand lands. Oh. Huge shot by Camilleri. Oh, he's looking to put him away. Swinging with wild abandonment, lads. So there might have been a knee to the groin there in that last exchange with the boys against the fence that uh, Peter Hickmont missed, but things now are kind of transitioning back to Emmanuel Camilleri getting the better of it. Camilleri now looking to take advantage of this position. Lyle doing the right things here, two on one. As Lyle tries to fight those hands. And got to watch for those knees. Nice work, drops to one knee to avoid the knees to the head. Oh, big shot behind the ear there. The left hook lands for Victor Lyle. I've seen Lyle in some wars before though. Yeah, he not going away easy. Marked up underneath his eyes. Nice body shot there. Big shots now landed by Lyle. He timed it nicely there off the slip from Camilleri. Lots of space there for some knees, lads. And one there for Victor Lyle before he gets pushed against the fence. Emmanuel Camilleri looking for the takedown here. Hand behind the knees. Yeah, look, Camilleri finding it hard to get behind those big legs, those big thighs of Lyle. He transitions to a single here. Oh, a big right hand oh, lands Lyle again. with a knee. Oh, oh big uppercut! Beautiful uppercut. Oh, Lyle, another uppercut! Lyle needs to keep those hands up now. And then you're landing at will here, but he, you know what? He's got he's to stay composed. Oh, big knee! You can see the damage now on Lyle's face. He's got his back nicely here, hands clasped together, drags him down to the mat. And you know the guys down at KMA very well rounded everywhere. Only 10 seconds to go, that's it for round number one. Absolute banging round, big smile on the face from Emmanuel there. Well, I think we have a new front runner for fight of the night, gentlemen. Guys, I have seen uh, Victor Lyle in an absolute war with uh, one of the old referees. I don't know if you remember uh, Jason Green. Oh, Jason. Mate, it was the biggest bloody. <laughs> you remember that one? I think I have seen that, yeah. Huge. It was one of the best fights I've ever seen. It was like a Rocky Balboa fight. So he's no stranger to this, but he's got a uh, tough task tonight with Emmanuel Camilleri, who is literally on point. And you know what, a couple of times there, Emmanuel, I think he's trying to really finish the fight. So we're going to see how he recovers after that first explosive round. Seconds out. Let's go, 
All right, so here we go, gentlemen, round two. Victor Lyle's face pretty marked up from that uh, from the barrages he took from Emmanuel Camilleri in the opening round. Yeah, we've got a little bit of uh, claret on our notes and on the uh, table here. Yeah, a little bit on my pants as well from the look of it. Nothing that the dry cleaner won't be able to get out tomorrow. We'll send Matt Walton that As field. Lyle goes to work early, he's now in top position. And Victor Lyle about as strong as you can be to make 74 kilos. So interested to see how he's like on top, but a good work. Getting to his base there from Emmanuel Camilleri and back to his feet, gentlemen. That was a great job by Camilleri to get back to his feet there. Beautiful technique. And you can see Lyle's face. He's like, what do I have to do to hold this guy down? Lyle looking to use those knees. He's got good head control there. He's using that guillotine here. Yeah, he doesn't want to gas those arms either. He's got to be a little bit careful with that. Difficult to see if he's got the uh, arm under the neck. Oh, it actually looks tight now. We look on the monitor. He's going high elbow Yeah, that's this. pretty tight. He's going to have to work out of this, Emmanuel. Emmanuel doing a good job trying to keep his posture and gets out of there. Lyle throwing strikes on the exit. That was a good job. Oh, just big, big knee there. Knee. Guys, change kicks there. Yeah, I really want to see Camilleri now control this action. Maybe sit on the outside a little bit more and use that range. Oh, big dump down. Big dump by Lyle. And straight into side control. Takes the mound too. Beautiful step over. Very precarious position here for Camilleri. Yeah. Looks like he's... Uh, this might be working on a choke here. Yeah, very difficult slash nearly impossible to try and get it when your partner's in full mount there. But as we see, Victor Lyle now clear the head and in, uh, in the half guard position now. Lyle now looking to stay heavy from this position. We'll have to uh, posture if he wants to land some of those big shots. Nice He's work. isolated that arm now. Beautiful staple. He's posturing up and punishing here. Manuel in a bad spot. Camilleri has to scramble here. Gets the double underhook pass. Now as Camilleri turtles, some big shots from Lyle. Now into a front head control position. Yeah, there's that knee. Oh, no quit from either man in this one. And this is taxing now. The boys grappling like this. Lyle, the heart of a lion. <laughs> Look at his face. He don't care. He's walking forward, baby. And there it is. The end of round two. Well, much <laughs> like the last fight, we see the tables are turning there in round two. Whatever they're getting paid, double it. Oh, yeah, but I think we're going in one-to-one -one into this last round, boys. What about you, Dan? Yeah, I think you're uh, on the money there, Wombat. First round pretty clearly, I thought, to uh, the defender, Emmanuel Camilleri, and Victor Lyle there with that beautiful slam in the second round. I think quite comfortably we can say that... Uh, probably took the second round there on the judges scorecard so one on one going into the third who's the fresher fighter you think well <laughs> i can't honest. tell you which one's fresher but i can tell you the one with the most heart's going to win this one tonight and lyle he's still coming forward which really impresses me yeah one of the one of the dumbest commentary moves that you can make is say who wants it more because they both bloody want it but <laughs> i tell you what this is probably one of those fights where whoever wants it more is going to take it home they have a lot of experience in both corners with Jason Lonigan over there from Gamebred Academy. Yeah, Simon Clough and Ryan Dunstan also joining him in that corner. So it looks like they're working on the left eye in particular of uh, Victor Lyles. We see a fair bit of swelling there. And if you can't hear him, Ryan Eversole in the corner there. Oh, and nice. Lyle with a looping hit there. Right hand landed there for Emmanuel. See if the boys slow down a little bit. Oh, Lyle looks to go high. Lyle swarming on strong, yeah, moving pick forward. that leg, which he does. Yeah, beautiful work there, punching into the head on the outside single. Now establishing uh, top position here in half guard. Looking to staple that arm again. That's a, a real... Uh, something you see a lot from the game bread fighters. I know Simon Clough, a big fan of that crucifix position. Yeah. As you can see, uh, Victor looking to try and staple the arm. 
Yeah, wanting to uh, isolate that right arm, but he's just let, had to let that one go. You can actually see from uh, from on top now how big Lyle is for this weight class. Huge. I have no idea how he made it. And he's doing his best work in the whole fight here when he's on top. This is where he's doing his best work. Manuel does a good job. Gets back to his feet. See if he can separate here. <laughs> oh, big left hand just misses. And for a big guy, he hasn't guessed yet. He's throwing hard. He's big looking for that single again. Landed. As Camilleri scrambles. So Peter Hickmont uh, yelling last warning there to Victor Lyle. I'd say to be uh, maybe contention from the shots hitting the back of the head. Yeah, I think so, mate. And it's just that sort of position where you've really got to pick your strikes, isn't it? They're a little bit wild. He's just got to be a little bit more careful with that. And Pete's having a real good look there. Oh. Mate, I love this heart of Lyle right now. The <laughs> Queensland boy. What a fight, lads. What a fight. This is definitely fight of the night. So, oh, we're throwing spinning stuff now. <laughs> and here comes Camilleri. Oh, look, coming on strong. It will come down to this round. Oh, nice work catching the kick. Head on the outside single, perhaps coming here from Victor Lyle. Yeah, he looks like he's going to be able to suck this one out. And there it is, gentlemen. Could that be the winning takedown with just under 30 seconds to go? He really scored a couple of takedowns in this row and pretty even on the feet. Maybe Emmanuel might be getting slightly the better of it, but uh, with those three takedowns, he really needs to get back to his feet here. And straight back into that crucifix position. There it is. Simon Klaus smiling in the corner. He's landing here. Scoring. Round nearly done. What a yeah, fight. Wow. Heavy. What an absolute Beautiful cracking fight, lads. Example of MMA and great sportsmanship. XFC, you've done it again. You know what? I'm not sure who won that fight. I'll tell you who won that cage. fight. We all won that fight. Everyone in the crowd. Everyone at home watching that yeah. won that. Everyone that paid for the live the stream, you have won tonight. And we've had some oh, big huge fights. And we're looking forward to do more and more. We are in for quite the evening. Hold on. So ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the bout 29-28, 29-27, and 29-27 for your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Victor!